Oh shit, the game picks up our voice! What if I talk really quietly? Shit. I'm not going to show you my feet for free. <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> he has been chosen. Let me sit around here, right? Holy shit! What the fuck? I was ahead in the toilet. Oh, man. Oh, shit! Who the fuck are you? Shit. Just have some. It's okay. He's throwing dynamite at me. Ha! You're up there and I'm down here, eh, shitbag? <laughs> dead, dead, dead. Shoot it! <laughs> my life. <laughs> Just me some shooter. Shooter. Shoot her. Shoot the Please, boat. don't hurt us. Oh. Dill pickles, not dick pickles. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dill pickles. But helps I love dill pickles. Dill pickles are fantastic. I feel like I should have seen this. Oh my god! What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? You're doing so good, actually. Okay, I think we've aced that part now. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Look, maybe we didn't ace it all the way, but... Christ almighty! <laughs> Ready, steady, go! That's it, show's over! Show's over! Ready to go, we're back onto the spooky boy stuff. I hear this one's good. Fierce to Fathom, episode 5, Woodbury Getaway. You play a Sydney Harper. A 23-year-old working at a consulting firm plans a weekend getaway to a rental in Woodbury with her college friends. Little did they know what was about to unfold during their stay. And the very worst part about these games is these are all true stories. Needed coffee to get done with today. All right, let's go get some coffee. Ooh, no. No. I'd quit. All right, coffee. Stick her in. Grab a cup, yeah? It needed water. Okay, okay. Okay, coffee in hand. Right mouse button to sip. Mmm, delicious. I've played too many horror games to not check them all. Alright, okay, look at that. We are pooping or peeing or we're doing something. Ah! My fucking knees! It's one of these games, eh? I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. It's okay. How are you? It fucking isn't okay. He'll be okay. Okay, we were done with it. Uh, he won't see. He won't know it was us. Ah. Uh, my left knee is battered. Okay. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. I know what he wants. It's a trap. Do you know what he wants to do? I'm not going to tell his. I'm Great. not going to know. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back nice. to work then. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Rentacabin.com. 350 a night. He didn't want that because he's tight as a duck's arse. 99. Private cabin in Woodbury. This is where you get murdered. Don't go there. I'm gonna try and book a good one and see what happens. It was over budget. Shit. We're going to the murder house. Whatever. 
Let's see what it has. Let's see what amenities it has. Private cabin in Woodbury. It's a three out of five star. It has two reviews. It has two reviews. Uh, it has Wi-Fi, garden, TV, kitchen, fishing, parking space, and it's only $99 per night. That's a great deal. Private cabin in Woodbury, 99 Yep, this looks actually, do you know what? For 99 quid, is it worth murder? Maybe. Three guests, two bedroom, two baths. That says beds. Moving on. Booking has been confirmed. Let's hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. This is the true story part. Okay? Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. Okay, so, at the start of this game, if you remember, down the bottom left of the screen, there was an email address where you can actually send the creator of this game your horrible stories, your real-life events of horrible things that have happened. They will make games of whatever happened. So this is the fifth one that got picked, okay? When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consultant firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave me much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Oh, shit! My elephant! God damn it! Oh, never went. Wasn't so bad. And we missed the call. Michael J. Carter, pull into the parking garage now. You down. Who's this guy? Is this our friend? Who's that? Okay. Like, this must be Mike. Harp. Hug. Okay. That's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? I'm blank, a long hug, or just a test hug to see if you smelled first. Fair enough, but for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Chuckle, long hug, blank. Sure, so we'll give him a chuckle. We'll play along. You look good. So do you, Mike. Thanks for picking me up. Sideswipe that. Wouldn't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. Right, this bad boy has been through a lot. Rick Wilson. How do we get that? Oh! Hey. Came out of nowhere. You know? I read on the internet that a Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your part, Path is like getting a message from the universe. Moe's Pizza. That's pizza selector music, and don't you forget it. Even if folks, looks like the Coles got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss, we're gonna go for the cheese. Wait, is a margarita not a cheese? Delicious pizza. I want to get some Moe. What's your second slice of cheese? And the third? Cheese. Alright, then six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. What the f six hold on a second. Six slices in a pizza. If I'm gonna do the math. A normal pizza has eight slices. Twenty-two fifty? We're gonna pay it just because we have to progress the game. So eight slices in a regular pizza. We're not even getting a full pizza. And it's twenty-two fifty. I didn't see his gun. I didn't see his knife. Because he was clearly holding us up. And that's how we get cheaper pizza. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat, and we'll call you up when your pizza's ready. All right, thank you very much. I'm going to come over and sit with you in a minute. So we're going to check everything out. Hello, sir. Okay, well. Evening, ma'am. Is that nice pizza? Was that 22.50? Who are you? I'm Sydney. Look, Sydney. That's never good. When they start with look... We're just here to enjoy our pizza in peace. Thanks for understanding. How's the pizza? 
Pizza's great, actually. I think Moe's might have ruined other pizzas for us. Way to a conference in the next town. I'm inside him. Can you feel the love tonight? Thank you. It was great. Alright, one voice message. Let's check her out. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Alright, okay. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Looks like she'll be late. Have to start the fun without her. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, we called it. Alright, show of hands. Who said sex pest? You? 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 I see it. I see it. We're on to you. And we're game. We are ready to- Wait a second. Hold on a second. Hey there, my friends. Hello. I just noticed you seem to be heading in the same direction I was. Is this a hitchhiker? Where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time? Nah. No? You kidding me? Have you seen the snow out there? You want me walking down the road in this freezing weather? Yeah. You ain't too kind, are you? Nah. Look out of here. So you kept awfully quiet there, Mike. Nice and easy, eh? We made it! Now let's see if, uh... He is, he's still up there, look at him. Oh, and now he's away? Oh, we're on to you, baby. Let's go. Alright. Someone's in here, though, like... What a great place, I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right, but I really need to hit the John. Take your time, Mike. <laughs> Long drive and all that, pizza really did a number on me. What the fuck? <laughs> Them three slices made me shit. Like, crazy amounts of shit. Ready to check out the place? Sounds good to me. Now, when we came in here, when we checked into this room... There, sorry, this house. There was somebody in the window upstairs when we were outside. Okay. There was somebody here. There was somebody in the house. I'm looking for attic space. And remember, chat, this is a true story. I found him. I found him. Yeah, we got him. Fucking dick. God damn it. Welcome to my home sweet home. Wait, this is Rick? Hold on a second. Alright, we're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. We're texting the guy who owns this, and he didn't say anything about him being in the upstairs. I was out looking for my cat earlier and remembered the TV has been on. <gasps> Excuse me. Okay. He's just here to fix the TV. They say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that... Let me show you around. Okay, cool. We're taking a grand tour. He is sus, man. He is sus. So look at this. How did I get off that? This is Rick. Let's read Rick's messages, okay? This is the guy who owns the cabin, I, I assume. Rick Wilson. Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property in Woodsbury for December 10th to 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Yada, yada, yada. That's correct. The key will be in a lockbox in the front door. The code is, call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Great, thank you. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received the confirmation text for you. I just wanted to check and make sure everything is okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not from the area. Please let me know when you arrive. Thanks, Rick. We're on our way and should be there around 6 p.m. Please uh, confirm when you check in and travel safe. That's not Rick. Right? That ain't Rick. At least we got some lights, that's good. And we've got a talking thing. Oh shit, the game picks up our voice! 
What if I talk really quietly? Shit. What if I whisper? Balls. Balls. Okay, so there's nothing I can do when the talking moments are on. I just have to stay insanely quiet, otherwise we're going to die. Let's turn that off. And back on. Alright. Oh yeah, this boy is sus, man. Hello? Here's your shower. What? Sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Look, Harp, this room has a nice-ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Oh, great, guys, he's gonna show us his deck. Follow me now, please. <laughs> okay. No access to guests. Let's see. Couldn't open the door, right? I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need this space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay. Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were the one, if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Oh yeah, he is sus and he's hiding something in that room right there. What was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ha, Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Everyone, no. Sus. Get out the fuck. Lock it. It's just me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Oh yeah, that's a carp. We're gonna keep him. One hour later. No, 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 no. We're 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 doing our thing. We're doing our thing. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Yeah, sound. Let's go. Dude, there's someone right over there. I just one more carp left. You got this. There's. I seen someone right over there. Okay, we got three carp. Do you want to head back? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. You never baited with cheese. <laughs> While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Uh, okay. Just take a bowl and throw in some ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. On it like a car bonnet, baby. Wait, what am I doing? Right. Oh, we got some salt. We got some pepper. We need paprika. Did you guys know what paprika is? Do you know what paprika is? Dried out bell peppers, exactly. Olive oil. And what's next? What was the last piece? A bit of yogurt. Wait, that's gonna be in there. A single sad tub of yogurt, it is. Oh. Oh! Do you mind throwing the fish in the marinade and the casserole? Yada yada yada. Gotcha. Oh no. That in there. I just want to put that in there. Fuck it. It'll be fine. All right, two carbs, marinade veggies. All right, well, let's get the marinade. Slap her in. Never mind. All right, two carp. Two carp. Where are the carp? Now, why is it only two carp? We caught three of them. I two carp, get the marinade, slap her in. Yes, sir, please. It needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Damn it. I love when horror games make you pick up things up and not put them down, LMAO. Sounds like a microwave. Those carp are going to taste amazing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they might do, right? Nora isn't there yet. Thank you very much. Guys, you're way smarter than I am. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw, yeah, I pulled out the Ouija board. Didn't we just have pizza for dinner? It was a, that was a light snack. 
That was a light snack, Alice. Come on now, get your head in the game. <laughs> All right. Spirit Link Games. Yes, it is. Holly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? That's a great idea. Oh, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. Why didn't I think of that? Ouija board with a dead woman in the basement smart. We're going down to fucking talk to her, too, Alice. Watch out for spiders down here. Ooh. Oh. You know what will make this even spookier? Least of your worries. Right? Yep. Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. I've never played with one because I'm afraid of it. Be honest. To be honest, I've never done it because I'm afraid of it. Do you know how this works? No. So here's how it works. First, we place our fingers lightly on the planchette. 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 We have to ask questions, and the spirits, if there are any, will move the planchette to spell out the answers. Or at least, that's what Holly told me. One more thing, Harp. Never take your fingers off the planchette until it says goodbye. Otherwise, we might tick off some spirits, she said. Alright then, you go first. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? Do you want us to leave? Can you see us? I don't have I don't have my fingers on it at all. Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing? What did you do? There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. Yeah, there we go. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. Would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay. Whatever. He's not getting the Annie. He wants some, but he's not gonna get some, alright? This mess. I think our snow. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch the TV while we eat? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Didn't close the board properly. What do you mean? Down there? We're not going back. We're not going to do it. There's no way I'm going down there. Welcome back to Cooking with Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey, and today we will be cooking asparagus chocolate cake with a spoonful of mayonnaise. Do not use diesel. Oh, oh you gotta it. give him that hook too and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> in our ramen. I mean, you gotta. I'm using some stuff I found in my grandmama's basement. I guess we can still enjoy our gasoline ramen. Which is ready to serve. We make a great team, okay. Enjoy eating this as much I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just wa waiting on shipments from my new DS. Hey, I'll be right back. Guys, that is a cardinal sin of a horror game, horror movie, horror anything. Never say I'll be right back. He's messaging me from upstairs right now. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Oh my shit. Right, which one's his bed? Why don't, would he want don't make sounds. Walk slow. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. 
This guy's a real dick. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I'm saying it now. I hope Mike dies first. Oh. That was fun, wasn't it? No, the fuck it wasn't, Mike. You wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? Yeah. Oh, we got you, baby. Okay, hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. You're gonna try this again? No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sl sliding up there. Didn't hear it? I swear on my life I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. Okay, we got an attic door. God damn it. Alright, step stool. Step stool, step stool. There we go. Fuck, shit. Alright, nice and easy, yeah? Alright. Is he gonna lock us up here? Sorry. Sorry about that. Hello, little cat. We're gonna pet you. Don't do anything. Is that... Is, that, are, is this us petting you? Okay. Good cat. A-W-W-W-E-E, little baby. Ooh, this looks like another hiding spot. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? Looks like you aren't the only pussy in the house. How did he get back in the house? Why the hell are you back in here? Rick, why are you back? What are you doing with that hammer? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. This is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. Yeah, the fuck you do! When I'm paying you rent, this is my house! You old fuck. Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I... We don't really want to have to call the law enforcement. Get the fuck out. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. Fuck out of here with your grey ass hair. These are true stories, by the way. Fierce to Fathom games are based on true stories that users send in to the game developer. And then they make a game out of it. After locking the door, we debated what to do. Go home. Leave. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behaviour to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Oh, Christ almighty. Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Creeper, wait for it. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora is okay. Yeah, it's really gotten pretty bad. I hate that Nora's out there. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Nah, whoever called it, put your hand up. 
Put your hand up right now. Whoever said her friend that she came away with, this guy, is a creeper, and he's up to no good. I want to see it. Did this guy plan this? Harp, you know? I've missed this. Us just talking. It's been too long. You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Did he kill Nora? Did you kill Nora? Did you fucking kill Nora? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. Oh yeah, do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. Didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. Guy? This is the friend that's running late, alright? It was supposed to be three of us coming up here. This is the friend that's running late. I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> we gotta go. I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, we can't. We better get ready. No, Sydney. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. That's really nice, Mike. Are you sure? That's fucked up. Get in the car. Do not stay in the creeper house alone, Christ. A true story. Not a chance. Uh, not a chance. I don't like him. I don't like him, but I also don't like to stay here. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. Let's just go back to bed. Shit's about to go down. Don't worry. I've driven him worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? This guy. I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. Fine. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. I was keen on getting some sleep, right? Let's do that. Just checking. Oh, it looks like the coast is clear. Let's get into bed. Alright, I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up. And I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39am. Oh. Okay, that must be them. Let's go. It's a bad crack chat. Yes, on the way. Someone was at the front door. Just so you know, we weren't supposed to have this flashlight. We weren't supposed to have it. But I decided to bring it with us. Oh shit. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing the dead out here. Who the fuck are you? Oh. Right, yeah, we're not gonna do that. Hello. Do you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on the banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride. From some friends, but they are they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. Can you sit in the porch while you wait? You're not coming in. End of story. That's I want to know, chat. What 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 would you do? Honestly, what would you do? There's somebody out in the freezing cold, banging on your door at at twenty to one. It's like one a.m. That's the guy from Moe's Pizza Place. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here. I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. Uh, I should have known you'd be as big a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? 
You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I told you! I knew it! I knew there was someone there! But it looks like you're still... Unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Please just leave or I'll call the cops. Yeah, let's be... Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. And what are we doing? Yeah, that's right, get the fuck out of here. You in your backpack. Your big ass stupid backpack. Look at you. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. Shit. It's not good. This lady's like, I wouldn't go to bed with the door open. I wouldn't be- I wouldn't be sleeping at all tonight. Not a chance! We're gonna see what's up. Maybe he fell into the basement. Get to the attic. I like your style. I bet you this is the hammer guy. You know, the... the lad. It is. It is. Oh, God, God. I think if I open the door, I'm dead. We're gonna open it. What the hell's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here, Rick. I'm so glad you came. Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Could have been anyone. Or no one at all. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. He's killed him. True story. Oh, buddy. You killed him with the hammer, didn't you? Oh. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Mike? He went to pick up the other friend. He should be back soon. Hmm. So, you're all alone here, right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Don't kill us. Please don't kill us. Do you like that fire? Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. I reckon he's down in that basement. Right? Oh my sweet baby Jesus! Jesus, Jesus Christ! I right. one text message from Rick Wilson. Rick Wilson is the man who we rented this house off for the weekend. That's who he claims to be. Come back over, what do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. You're not Rick, are you? Who are you? Alright, we're gonna play it cooler. We're gonna say it. I don't think if, if we tell them we're dead, right? If we tell them we're finished. So, it's my friends. They're almost here. Yeah, first. Yeah. Is that so? Yeah. Thanks for coming by, though. You can head back if you want. What if he's so confident they're not coming back because he has killed him already? Right? What if that's what's up? You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Make sure everything's really okay. You need to leave right now? You are not Rick, are you? Who are you? Yeah. Oh shit. What did you just say? Confront. Ah, f Ugh. We have to tell him. It led us to this. It led us to this answer. 
This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. You need to leave right now. Get out of here before I call the cops. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house. And you. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. Get out of here before I call the cops. Right. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. He broke the fucking handle! Oh, we're dead. We're fucking dead. Mm. Oh! The backpacker probably would have saved us if we let him in. Mm. Fuck! <gasps> fucking Nora, I swear to God. And fucking Nora calls us like a dick. We have to remember that Nora is gonna try and call us and we have to not let her. Nora's gonna get us killed, guys. Aren't these stories terrible since the game was based on true story? Yeah, absolutely. And then rush back to that hiding spot. Shit! I'm a dick. Nora Kim, you're a real piece of shit. Yes, we did it. Are you alright? Just got done talking to other guests on the phone. I've called 911. I'm going back down.
Fucking kick down the door. And he's gone. Isn't he? Jesus Christ, that poor woman, man, had to go through that in real life. That's bad, man. I told him everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that man was, we saw, secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that, didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. That means he's still out there running around with a hammer. You like this game? Smash the like, hit all the buttons. Perfect. Perfect.